Dehina, PG scholar in the Naj, Kolkata. Hardly one month left for AIPGT 2024. I hope you all are doing your revision really well. So as per the distribution of uh, questions and uh, given, so 16, co 16 questions will be asked from materia, 16 from organa, 16 from repertory, and 12 questions will be asked from pharmacy. This is the distribution given for homeopathic subjects. So I think if we are able to, um, uh, you know, have a better understanding or better knowledge of uh, three important subjects, okay, leave materia medica because materia medica is very vast. Leave in sense for now, just consider organa of medicine, repertory, and pharmacy. If you are able to have a very good knowledge or deep understanding or if you are able to revise these three subjects well, really well, so chances of you people scoring uh, good, okay, in improving your score uh, increases, okay. So, we will, today we are going to start with the revision of organ and of medicine and philosophy, okay. Organ and may, uh, importantly, philosophy se bhi question pucha jata hai, P3 philosophy and chronic disease se question aata hai, organ and of medicine book se question aega and uh, different editions of uh, organ and uh, different translations of organ and year of publication, all these things will be asked the most important uh, the topic of organ is aphorisms okay so aphorisms from fifth and sixth edition both are usually asked mcqs from both of this are usually asked so the introduction part of both of this uh, se aapko pata hona chahiye. so today we are going to start with a revision quick revision of aphorisms a quick by quick revision I mean agar if we go deep or in detail of each and every aphorism we will not be able to complete it. So what I am going to do is for your quick revision we are going to just read out okay or state only those points which can be asked or which is usually asked as MCQs in your exam okay. So we all have we all know what are the aphorisms in detail okay. For exam also you are preparing with uh, preparing the aphorisms but today so today we are going to start only with the important points okay that will help you revise okay and that will help you to know how the mcq can be framed from this particular aphorisms okay so without further ado let's get started Aphorism number one, as we all know, is mission of physician. Okay, so mission of physician, and in this first footnote, the question is usually asked is about theoretic medicine, where the theoretic medicine is mentioned, but this can also be asked as learned reveries. Okay, where learned reveries is mentioned. Okay, if the question is like this, the answer is in the first footnote. Okay, footnote of first aphorism. And Learn reveries is equal to theoretic medicine. Okay, so in first aphorism is mission of physician. In the footnote, you have theoretic medicine and learn reveries. Okay, aphorism number two is highest ideal of cure. As we all know, this aphorism is uh, it does not have any footnote, but you should remember that the question can be uh, framed this way. Remember, answer is most reliable. If the uh, option has reliable also as an uh, answer, don't go for it. The answer is most reliable, most harmless way, okay, on easily comp comprehensible principle, okay. So that is about aphorism number two, highest ideal of cure. Aphorism number three is knowledge of true physician, okay. It can be also asked as qualities of a physician, okay, or in other way it can be framed as qualification of physician, okay. Aphorism number four, it is important aphorism that is preserver of health. Okay, preserver of health. This can also be asked as in which aphorism importance of sanitation, preventive and promotive aspect of health is mentioned. Okay, I'll repeat it. In which aphorism importance of sanitation and preventive and promotive aspect of health is mentioned. So, the answer will be aphorism number 4, which is preserver of health, okay. Aphorism number 5, again it is very important where you have obstacles to cure, okay. The aphorism number 5 is all about obstacles to cure, but you also have in it, it can be asked as where the exciting 
or the fundamental cause is mentioned okay so it is in aphorism number 5 okay fundamental and exciting cause is in aphorism number 5 it is about obstacles to cure and the word accessory circumstances it is first time used in five, fifth aphorism aphorism number 5 it is first time used in aphorism number 5 in fourth edition okay remember so what is importance of fifth aphorism it is obstacles to cure it states about fundamental and exciting cause and the term accessory circumstances has been used first time in aphorism number 5 in fourth edition another is sixth aphorism which is also important as we all know it talks about unprejudiced observer but it also contains or it also states about portrait of disease okay so in which aphorism portrait of disease is mentioned it is aphorism number 6 okay and definition of subjective and objective symptoms we can get from aphorism number 6 and also in the footnote of aphorism number 6 we have prima causa mori that is primary cause of disease okay so where prima causa causa mori is mentioned it is in the footnote of aphorism number 6 so sixth aphorism ka importance kya hua sabse first it is about unprejudiced observer okay number 1 uh, second it about portrait of disease okay number 3 definition of subjective and objective symptoms and in the footnote we have prima causa mori okay so that is about aphorism number 6 aphorism number 7 is importantly about totality of symptoms okay totality of symptoms or iske andar the term used hua hai causa occasionalis okay causa occasionalis is used in aphorism number 7 remember causa occasionalis is origin is latin okay not greek it is latin term and in the footnote it has two footnote aphorism number 7 has two footnote in footnote 1 we have in disposition given footnote 1 talks about in disposition with its examples and footnote 2 is about antipathy and so footnote 1 may you have uh, in disposition and different example has been given so remember that uh, do read that examples if it tells ask uh, you you know how to rem uh, remove the foreign body or you know crush the calculus all this if this is asked where this examples are given in which aphorism so it is in the footnote 1 of aphorism number 7 okay this way mcq can be asked from this aphorism number 8 is all about euphlens remark the footnote contains about euphlens remark that is removal of symptoms is equals to removal of disease okay and in footnote we have euphlens remark which states that homeopathy can remove the symptoms but the disease remains okay Uh, and then nine onwards we have all about vital force. So nine is about vital force or the qualities of vital force in health. Okay. So qualities or for or role of vital force in health is stated in aphorism number nine. Okay. Aphorism number um, aphorism number ten is about what is material body without vital force. That means it is dead. Okay. So material body without uh, vital force will be dead. Okay. That is about aphorism. Ten. Aphorism number eleven is what is role of vital force in disease condition? Okay, so role of vital force in disease condition. Uh, yeah, eleven. And in the footnote, we can see in footnote one it talks about materia picans, and footnote two about dynamic influence. So remember, dynamic influence is mentioned in the footnote two of aphorism number eleven, and materia picans in footnote of one. Okay. Uh, then aphorism number 12 is that morbidly affected vital force will produce disease okay that is aphorism number 12 13 is about material cause of disease okay ab isko kis tarike se pucha ja sakta hai it can be called as a material cause of the disease okay or allopathic view of disease or materialism in medicine okay materialism in uh, medicine yeah that is about aphorism number 13 and allopathy the term allopathy ke liye word kya use kiya gaya hai truly mischievous art okay so truly mischievous art is allopathy has been stated in aphorism number 13 aphorism number 14 talks about definition of curable and incurable diseases yeah then aphorism number 15 says that disease vital force 
and disease symptoms they are one inseparable unit okay disease vital force and disease symptoms okay it can be stated in other way like vital force and material body okay so vital force and material body these both are one inseparable unit okay and aphorism number 16 states that spirit like vital force is affected by similar dynamic affection okay and it also states that medicine act through sentient nerve okay medicine will act through sentient nerve and in the footnote we can see that no medicine should be given in imaginative disease okay it is an aphorism number 16 okay so that is for uh, today till 16 aphorism we have covered this is like just a quick revision not going deep into or detail into all the aphorism just the points which can be asked or which usually is asked as mcq so we will continue to in the next part mm, do comment down below and tell me that how you would like to have the second part as a video which can be uploaded any time or a live session which we can do at a particular time and you all can join me and we can have a discussion on another important points of different subjects or about organ and of medicine itself so for this video that is it uh, do your revision really well mm, all the very best i'll see you in the next part till then take care bye bye